Ready or Not is my favorite tactical game of the year. I said it. And you guys are going to be able to play it by the end of the year because Void Interactive announced that it's going to be entering early access on Steam. I'm so excited to see what you guys think of the game and to get the opportunity to play with some of you guys. Today, I'm going to do something a little bit different. We're going to show some gameplay up first. What we did is apply a time limit to a bomb defusal scenario. So we set an artificial timer of five minutes to define success in this scenario. We're going to watch it all the way through so we can get that badass cinematic high-speed gameplay and then we're going to run it back. I'm going to pick a couple of entries, a couple of moments to do a little tactical breakdown. So first, here comes the gameplay. Stick around after the gameplay as we do a little bit of AAR and just talk through some of the decisions that we made on the fly, which is one of the reasons that makes Ready or Not so special is because of those really quick tactical decisions you have to make, those shoot and no shoot scenarios. Here we go. All right, ready and starting the time. Speaking, you're cleared to make entry at Wendley. Main concourse, Speaking, entrance clock. one. Clock. <laughs> what are you doing? Alright, All right, I Work left. Cam? Quick peek, quick peek. Yeah. No trap. Copy. Throwing it. Open right, taking right. Right clear. Left, going left. I hear bomb. Bomb. Work right, work left. Copy. I see a trap on this door. Going explosive. No trap. Charge is set. Breaching in. You have three, control. Two. One. Going. Right clear. Bomb on the left. Window right. Bathroom clear. Room clear. Yeah, there's a trap on this door. This door here? Ooh, good call. Ice. Can we disarm? Trying? No, it's on the other side. Going explosive. You got it? It's clear. It's clear. Bomb's Charge good. set. Stack. Send it. I have control bridging in three. Oh, two, car, my back up. One. Door closed left and front. Peek. Or no, metal door. Throwing it. Drop your weapon. Gun, gun, gun. He's down. Moving. Move clear. Door. We're reaching our side. Uh, Copy. He closed it. Throwing it. Oh, fuck. Lock. Jesus, fuck. Get on the ground now. Uh, work my door, work my door. Okay, throwing it. Lock. Reach. Left, rolling left. Open door, right. With you, right, open. Again, open threshold, right. Pushing it. Working left. We're working right as well. Fuck. Right terminates. Clear. Copy collapsing back. Hallway. Two doors right, open door right, green room. Work the open door. Two minutes, 40. Stop it. Watch the glass, watch the glass. Working these doubles here. Ready? Gonna With you. This last one. Right clear. Left open clear. threshold front. Take door it. closed left. Right, red space, right? Closer left. Red space clear. Working closer left. Ready. If anyone's good, go ahead and say I got it. Gooms. Two mics. Put your hands in the air. Hands up. All clear, all clear. Close Ice our legs. Uh, trap, trap, trap. It's going explosive. Stack left. Charge set. I have control. Breaching in three, two, one. Open right, open left. I think we're clear. We gotta use cam lights. There's clear on the left. There's a closed door right here. Closed door front. Can't be. They're on it. Locked. Going ballistic. Ready? Oh, wait. We've done it. We've done it. I'm hearing them shoot. Clapson, you guys, you up? We're at main entry. We're at main POE. Moving one to mic you. 20. We're pushing the side hotel rooms. Gotcha. Working your way. Ready? Yep, ready. Throwing it. Locked. Ballistic. Drop. Yeah, we're good. We're Pushing good. Past. Pushing right. We're with you. Fuck. Clear right. I can't stopped. control yeah, myself. I'm going left. Okay, we're clear right. We're clear right. 50 Any seconds. Hobbles. 50 seconds. I hear a bomb. Hear a bomb. Hear yeah, bomb. Work towards the bomb. Explosive. 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 I prep bang. 
Bank crap. Charge is set. Oh, Breaching in three, two, one. Breach, breach, breach. Bang in. Going right. Drop it. Don't go. Smoke will thump him, man. He's out of the way. Down. Barricade. Left side. Left. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, find the bomb. Get I'm the bomb. on these suspects, the I'm on the suspects. Oh, what you got? Need one, Proceed With you. 20 seconds. 20 seconds on defusal. Got him, got him. I got, I still got closed door on my side. DTs, Coming to you. DTs. All right, holy shit, 10 seconds left. Let's go. <laughs> All right, ready? Talk to Dang it. All right, clear. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, that, that, that ups the fun fact. Oh, man. That was dope. Uh, and you got to use chems and shit because you're going fat. Like, uh, uh, yeah, that, yeah. That, was, that was fucking great. Pretty exciting little time constrained clearance there and uh, absolutely a blast. I think the first thing worth mentioning is just why we were using the method of clearance that we were using. And that is, it was an extremely dynamic, extremely fast pace and a, a type of clearance that really kind of incurred a lot of risk. We were rushing doorways. We weren't scanning for traps a whole lot. And the reason being is we were time constrained. And when time becomes a constriction, be it either in this scenario, which is a bomb defusal scenario or in a hostage rescue scenario, you have to move a hell of a lot faster. A reoccurring theme that you're gonna see throughout this video, I hope, is that of security. I don't want to be standing and staring down this hallway with my face and my head away from the action. I wanna be in the action and join the game with everybody else, but based off when I came through that door, I knew that my responsibility was to hold long and make sure we don't get pushed through this closed door in this deep hallway. So I'm protecting the flank of my buddies while they work on the doorway off to my left shoulder. We got extremely lucky here and Gooms actually had the time to wand this door. There's a trap on this door. He discovered the trap and we didn't have time to defuse it by any other means, so we went explosive. If you're gonna go explosive internal, there's a lot of concerns with blast overpressure, especially when you're attacking something that you know to have a device on it, you then acknowledge that there's a risk of secondaries. There's also no guarantee that your small cutting charge that you're using to defeat the locking mechanism is going to actually defeat the booby trap as well so it requires a reassessment in this game we know that if we put a charge on the door and we clack it it is going to defeat the secondary but there is some splash damage associated with it so you have to get the requisite standoff worth mentioning here is how we enter and clear a room we know it's left right left right first man chooses whichever way he wants to go the two man goes the opposite of that number one man three man goes opposite the two man number one and the two men are responsible for clearing the deep corner so even if there's a threat in the middle of the room they're allowed to take a shot at that threat and then immediately collapse to their corner that's the hard right the hard left corner those are the most fundamental principles of entering and clearing a room. Here I'm coming in as the three-man. I see Gooms with a 45-degree cant looking like he is going to go left side of the door, which would be outside of what the battle drill calls for. And I'm looking at his, like the way his shoulders are bladed right now, and I'm assuming that's what he's going to do. I'm playing off of that and choosing to go right. We ended up kind of getting cross signals here, and it's just an example of how hectic these moments can become, how important it is to stick with the left, right, left, right, and make sure you're executing those fundamentals to standard because your teammates around you are, are watching the way that you're moving they're counting on you to move in predictable ways so that they are able to execute the fundamentals and accomplish the battle drill as it's designed Peek. all right no metal door throwing it drop your weapon gun 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 he's down extremely tough shoot no shoot situation here a lot of guys are going to squeeze off a couple rounds as soon as they come through this door we know that we're penalized for that in this game we are law enforcement so we shouted him to drop the weapon he doesn't comply and then as he kind of gains his awareness after being stung by that door flying open the gun does point towards me and that's what triggers my decision to go ahead and squeeze off the rounds and eliminate that guy I think this is the first time we see the shotgun come out to achieve a ballistic breach in this level. It's worth mentioning that using a shotgun to breach in the real world calls for a specific type of breaching round, and it typically doesn't result in the door flying open like it does in Ready or Not, and it usually takes more than one round. Most teams and units use two, one targeting at the locking mechanism attached to the door handle and another targeting the locking mechanism attached to the bolt that's usually followed by another mechanical style breach, be it with a foot uh, or with a ram or something like that, sometimes a pry bar. Um, but anyway, engaging the door with the shotgun won't usually throw it open. I'd like to see that change in Ready or Not. Anyway, whenever you do go ballistic in Ready or Not, you should attack the door, immediately fall back, swap to your primary, never be the one man 
through the door after your ballistic breach. You want the number one man to be able to fly through that threshold as soon as the door comes open or get a bang in there uh, from the three man or somebody else. But you as the breacher should not be following through as the number one man because your gun's not going to be ready. This entry is a good illustration of work in those corners. Karma goes left and I immediately collapse right to protect his right hip. This entry is a good illustration of some different methods of clearance. Grover pans from external through the glass there to clear most of the room from outside before we even have to go in. I attack the locking mechanism with the ballistic breach. Karma rolls in. He chooses to button hook. I play off of his movement and know that I also need to button hook. Then we immediately, from the split stack, are able to clear the two hard corners by doing so. And we never use any verbal communication to do it. We just know, based off the fundamentals, that that is how the room is to be entered. 50 seconds, 50 seconds. I hear a bomb, hear a bomb, hear yeah, a bomb. Yeah, explosive. On us, on us. Explosive, on explosive, explosive, explosive. This is a super chaotic entry, so we can actually hear the bomb through the door. We also know we only have one minute to get to it before we fail the mission. Karma calls for the explosive breach. It was the right call because we think if there's a bomb in there, there's probably some other individuals in there defending the bomb. It allows us to blow open that threshold and then really maximize violence of action to dominate the space. We think it's going to be heavily defended just based off of the nature of the bomb being in there, likely accompanied by the suspects in the room. Once we're in the room, we do see a bunch of enemy combatants and end up in a couple of close range gunfights. We have one barricaded in the center, one on the left, and at least one over on the right. And we also have civilians in the mix. And so I have to make some snap calls on when to pull the trigger and when not to. Let's go ahead and watch that in slow motion, see how it unfolds, and then talk. So if we pause here at 4 minutes, 20 seconds, we see Karma is off to the right already in a gunfight. Uh, he flowed straight through that open threshold, which was absolutely the right move, but there's dead space behind him in the form of that like bent over shelving or whatever that is. So we end up putting rounds through that shelving or through that barricade and into that dude. Grover's also working him from the right corner. I enter the room, and I go opposite of Gooms. It's worth mentioning that I step through the fatal funnel and I get out of it and I step over to the right because I know those rounds are likely going to be oriented at the doorway and coming into it. We are able to down that dude behind the barricade, but not before a civilian comes running through the line of fire and by some miracle we all manage to come off of the trigger in time to avoid accidentally harming that person. I was prepared to flow in behind Grover and support Karma Cut, who I knew was already in contact to the right, but that's when we started being engaged from the left. There was another open threshold and required me to move forward on the wall to take that shot. It's worth mentioning that that's actually not what the battle drill calls for. As the three men, my responsibility was to come into the room and move out of the fatal funnel to the right and hold the center of that center fed room rather than move into any of these other open areas. But instead, we had that contact from the left that required me to step towards the center of the room, ride the wall deeper. To form an L. That L allows me to engage the target that's in the bathroom. As soon as we knew the bomb was diffused, we also knew that the time crunch went away. We could transition from that rapid, dynamic, super dangerous and high risk style of clearance to a more deliberate style of clearance. And with that, Karma Cut did go ballistic on the last door. I took some standoff as the number one man and I worked a nice wide pan through that threshold, knowing that if there were any enemy in that room, they would have heard us working next door and been waiting for us. That pan allowed me to get off a couple of snapshots just to be sure we followed up with a bang, chase it in, and that cements our victory in the round. Let me know in the comments below if you guys enjoyed this format where we send it with the high-speed gameplay up front and then talk about it afterward in the form of like an AAR where we get a little bit of tactical decision-making and analysis to top the video off. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate if you subscribe to the channel to get more content just like this. Remember, Ready or Not is going to launch into early access by the end of December. If you're looking for other ways to connect with me or my content, check out the description below. There's a ton of ways that you can get involved from Instagram to Twitter to Discord to a podcast to a website. You name it. There's plenty of ways to reach out. I look forward to hearing from each of you guys. I'm Control Pairs. I play the most immersive tactical shooters and combat sims in the world. This is Ready or Not.